Um, then they came to us and said, okay, well, to expand that, we need more kind of accessible events. We need activities, not just kind of an environment. We want something that's more of an activity, more of a lab, but we want it to be on live equipment. So we built a big data center and, and they had access to all the IT equipment um, around networking, programming, IT support. Um, and they would come in for about 30 to 45 minutes. They would get access to an environment all via the, the web, and, uh, and they would be assessed. There would be a score at the end. Did they configure the server correctly, whatever it was. Um, here's an example of what one of those would look like, a um, bunch of Cisco routers. Uh, there's a lab guide on the left-hand side, and then a telnet. So all in one window, they got access to a live uh, network topology, um, which for any of you who are in IT, this is a huge deal for kids and, and, and even working adults to have access to this infrastructure because in the real world, you know, they're locked out of the data center, obviously, because they're not trained. Then they said, okay, now can you give it a little more of a day in the life context, a little more of a, you know, let's kind of make it cooler um, and start to employ some of that digital native stuff we talked about earlier. And we want to expand it to things like business and MIS that, you know, aren't quite as hard skill oriented. Um, so we invented the, the, uh, the day in the life scenarios. And uh, you can see this is kind of a fun cartoony look and feel, but the concept is the student was dropped into an environment, they had a particular scenario, they were the, you know, the junior network administrator at a realty company and they had to set up laptops in distributed locations. Um, they would get visits from their boss and emails, they'd go to meetings and uh, at the end of the day these avatars would interact with the student and pose the the IT problems or the business problems using kind of real world speak, not just, okay, here's your assignment, but give them an opportunity, not totally immersive yet, but giving them an opportunity to have context for all the things they were doing. Five? Five? Okay, good. Thank you. Um, and then finally, they said, wow, this, this is really going well. We want to expand beyond the, I, the whole IT business kind of realm into critical thinking and media and culture, you know, humanities, and let's get a little more immersive and let's start, you know, employing some of the, the new technology that's out there. So, um, so we went down to Hollywood and started pulling in some technology that allowed us to interact, to build photorealistic uh, virtual environments and interact with live actors who, through multi-threaded branching, could start to engage and participate with the student, bring these cartoon looking scenarios to life. So let me just show you real quick an example of one of those. So here you are in your virtual desk, and I wish my desk looked that cool. Um, and here's, here's a, a new prototype iPhone, and uh, if Apple builds one of these, it was my idea. Um, but it's a video iPhone, so when you click on it, your boss talks to you. Good morning. I see you've got your coffee from Claude's. Always a great way to start the day. Listen, we wanted to talk about uh, how the Master Dynasty launch is coming along. Tell me about that. So you're the director of marketing for a gaming company, uh, and you're about to launch the new Master Dynasty game, and they want you to use social media um, as, as a launching opportunity. So this is your boss. He gives you a video call. Okay. So what are your plans so far? So based on how you answer and, and how it threads, um, your boss gives you the assignment. So based on the assignment, then you decide to go off and meet with your team um, at Claude's and they'll, you get an opportunity here to ask them questions and they'll... Man, I'm full. Lunch was great. So um, you're getting the point. Now, how about that for learning? Huh? The whole idea is um, you're going to engage with these characters and they're going to take you off on a, you know, on, a, on a particular path where at the end you're going to end up creating a social media plan for launching the Master Dynasty game and it's teaching you all about media and culture and the use of social tools in a commercial context. So fun, cool stuff. Um, here's a picture, for example, from that one. So just to finish up, uh, I assure you I'm almost done. Uh, Yesterday, I went to the Q&A with Lord Putnam, and he, he um, endowed us with the, um, 
the two overwhelming challenges stopping us from changing the world. And we are all doomed if we can't overcome two challenges. One of them was assessment, and the second was uh, the reactionary press. Now, I can't do anything about the Daily Mail. He seemed very upset about the Daily Mail. But I think assessment certainly is something that we can work on. So one thing um, that I think is important to, to, to understand about experiential learning or anything we're going to put in the workplace or in academic is there needs to be an assessment component. There needs to be feedback. Experiential learning affords us uh, performance-based assessment. So here are the quick results. Um, there's a case study available. I'll show you the URL in just a second. You can go learn about. Uh, the, from a student perspective, course completions in one year have gone up 22%, which means the students are really engaged and enjoying it, and they're completing the courses, which ultimately means they'll complete their degree, which means that they'll enter the workforce with more experience, which means we're all going to be happier in the end, and the world's going to be a better place. Um, here's the University of Phoenix uh, AXIA program, and you can see their practice makes perfect. You know, they've got this experiential learning kind of technology apprenticeship messaging we help them with. Um, they're really selling the concept that you get to work with live uh, equipment and cool technology. And because of that, their program demand has gone up 41%, and their enrollments since the launch of the first degree are up 136%. So um, they're seeing a lot of success. And again, the, the case study is available at uh, toolwire.com, and there's a lot of good background information and, and more statistics, et cetera. So in summary, this is everything I said in a word cloud. And you can see learning and experiential and knowledge and students. So obviously, I did well saying all the right things. Uh, word clouds, the bigger the word, the, uh, the more often that word is used. So thank you very much.